there is no way that we can make TGB all it can be without hearing from you. And hearing from you sometimes is the most toughest thing uh, to be able to do. We've tried different things in the past to solicit employee feedback from the traditional staff meeting uh, to lightly attended employee forums. One thing we have learned is staff meetings with 200 people in the room aren't the most efficient and effective way to get people talking about the issues of concern here at Trevor Brown. Employee forums taking place at 3 o'clock uh, have been lightly attended in the past and have likewise been ineffective and inefficient. And securing employee feedback regarding the issues of concern here at Trevor Brown. So for these reasons, our Campus and Climate and Culture Committee has come up with what I feel is a new and innovative way to accomplish three things. Number one, get the staff talking about the issues that matter to them here at Trevor Brown, the district's largest campus. Two, to get the staff to mix and collaborate and get to know each other across PLCs and across departments. And most importantly, three, to be able to come up with some ideas and solutions to some of the common challenges that we all face, from crowding to high class loads to room sharing to truancy to tardiness and to parking. These are all parts and challenges of daily life at the city's largest high school. So how does it work? Well, our new format called Broom Chats, what it does is it combines PLCs, not departments, into small groups groups no larger than 15 to 17 participants. Each group will feature PLCs from totally different areas. For example, one group, group one, may have the Algebra One PLC grouped with Spanish uh, on top of another grouping that may see Art One grouped with Algebra One or weight training grouped with Performing Arts. The goal, again, is to get staff members mixing it up, talking to each other, meeting people across departments and campuses. Through this grouping structure, we've been able to place teachers in a total of seven groups of uh, sizes no larger than 15 to 17. Each group has been assigned one broom chat date, one for the third quarter and one for the fourth quarter. Broom chats will take place from 2.45 to 3.30 and will be hosted in a classroom of one of the group's members. For example, if Group 1 features the Algebra 1 PLC, the third quarter broom chat may take place in Ms. Castro's room 9009, as she's a member of the Algebra 1 PLC. Broom chats are mandatory discussion style meetings, will always be scheduled from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m., and they will be a non-PLC day, a non-staff meeting day, and of course a non-instructional uh, leadership meeting date. How are we going to go about selecting topics? Well, that's a great question. Each group has been assigned a Brune Chat coordinator and the Brune Chat coordinator is a member of our campus climate uh, and culture committee team. They will be responsible for working with your PLC leaders to elicit what are the top five issues of concern that you have on campus right now. They will be working with your PLC leaders as your PLC leaders will be surveying you shortly in a format that allows for an anonymity and comfort to find out what it is that you believe are the top five issues of concern uh, as you come to work every day here at Trevor Brown. Is it room sharing? Is it floating? Is it teaching assignments? Is it truancy, trash, disciplinary processes? PLC presentations, time reporting, teacher subbing, whatever it is that you feel you have an idea uh, or a proposed solution or a thought or an innovation that could make that challenge a little less challenging, this will be your opportunity. Your PLC leader, after he has surveyed your PLC, will submit your PLC team's top five recommendations to your group's broom chat coordinator. At our upcoming uh, Campus Climate uh, Culture Committee meeting, the Broom Chat coordinators will bring all of their top five concerns to the table from each PLC that they've been assigned, and they will begin the process of ranking out the top five to ten issues of concern across the campus, and those will be the topics of our Broom Chat discussions. The Broom Chat discussions, uh, both third quarter and fourth quarter, 
will not be stand and deliver style lectures. They will not be me waiting for you to ask questions. They will always feature an icebreaker at the beginning to get participants active and getting to know each other and comfortable collaborating with each other. Then, for the remainder of the time, the Bruin chat discussions will feature best practices in group facilitation and small group and paired learning activities that will center on the topic of the day. The focus on learning activities is our way of also modeling best practices in group learning as you go out and facilitate these activities in your classrooms. It's also in support of our continuous improvement plan and of course the teacher evaluation system which always uh, emphasizes the use of paired and small group learning activities to foster learning activities that encourage higher levels of critical thinking. I look forward to interacting with you for the remainder of the school year. We have high hopes for this new format. We believe that this new format is going to be a more productive way and a more comfortable way uh, for employees to give us feedback on the issues that matter here at TGB. Thanks and have a great day.